Dependency theory is the concept that resources flow from a periphery of poor and underdeveloped states to a core of wealthy states enriching the latter at the expense of the former. It is a central argument of dependency theory that poor states are impoverished and rich ones enriched by the way poor states are integrated into the world system. So dependency theory is also an approach to understanding economic underdevelopment that emphasizes the putative constraints imposed by the global, political, and economic order. Underdevelopment is mainly caused by the peripheral position of affected countries in the world economy. So, the theory it arose uh, as a reaction to modernization theory, an earlier theory of development, the modernization theory, it was an early theory of development which held that societies progress through similar stages of development. That today's underdeveloped areas are thus in a similar situation to that of today's developed areas at some time in the past and that therefore the task of helping the underdeveloped areas of poverty is to accelerate them along the supposed common path of development by various means such as such as investment, technology, transfers, and closer integration into the market. So uh, by uh, by now we are my much sure about we are much we are you got that idea about what dependency theory is all about. But the question arises, why do we need to study dependency theory? So though I have not uh, put on uh, this, uh, I have not emphasized uh, these uh, main points on the slides, so I would like to say that dependency theory, it, why do we need to study dependency theory issues in the world? by examining the patterns of interactions among nations and by arguing that inequality among nations is an intrinsic part of these interactions. So, uh, I would like to begin uh, with the de dependency features in developing and poor countries. So, dependency uh, features in developing and poor countries it goes like that i would like to i jotted down some points so i'd like to begin with that so first one is globalization so the very first feature of um, dependency on developing and poor countries is globalization globalization is more saying matter in the present world it is a universal theory which aims to see everything in the same angle as a result, all nations, either poor or rich, come closer with different aspects. But there are seen few differentiation in comparison of power and ability. Mostly the poor nations are being influenced by the rich nations. So secondly, I'd like to point out political control. So political control of the developing or poor countries depend on the will of the developed countries. In respect to politicization of the developing nation, the developed government controls the government of the developing government. Political parties, election, and political will depend on the developed nation. So third point is the labor market. In developing countries or periphery nation, which is the poor nation, there are a low cost labor market for developed nation and brain drain theory is taking place in there. And the fourth point is social classification and capitalization. Dependency theory creates a social class. One class becomes in power or hold control power of society and another class become objects of playing power of upper class people these are the facts that are seen in a wealthy nation become wealthy and social capital becomes in control under those wealthy nations so uh, 
A very example of the dependency theory is that during the years of 1650 to 1900, Britain and European and other European nations took over or colonized other nations. They used their superior military technology and naval strength at the time to do this. A dependency describes the relationship among activities and it specifies the particular order in which they need to be performed. Dependencies arise in every decision making, planning, and developing process and are ideally predetermined. So, here are some points. From now on, I'd like to begin uh, with the points being jotted down by a very um, known uh, sociologist, a thinker, uh, that is Andrew Frank. So, according to Andrew Frank, most of the theoretical categories and development policies in the modernization school have been distilled exclusively from the historical experience of European and North American advanced capitalist nations. Modernization school is deficit because, because it offers an internal explanation. explanation of the third world development. So modernization school assumes that these countries are now at the other countries as mentors to follow the western path of development in order to reach modernity. So I would like to uh, uh, point out that modernization theory holds that increase in technology will increase wealth throughout the globe and that the low income nations can follow the path taken by wealthier modernized nations. whereas Dependency theory holds that some nations gained wealth at the expense of other nations, especially through colonization. So dependency theory it, it basically it, it basically and mainly focused basically on the colonization. So the third world countries could never follow the Western path. Western countries have not experienced colonization till date. Coloniali colonialism till date. The colonial experience totally re restructed third world countries and has drastically altered their paths of development. External explanation for the third world development. The backwardness of the third world countries cannot be explained by feudalism or traditionalism. Third world countries is not equal to primitive, feudal, or traditional. Instead, the historical experience of colonialism and foreign domination have resolved the development of many advanced third world countries. The development of underdevelopment. So this is the theory basically focused uh, by uh, Andy Gondor Frank. So. Uh, to denote the development of underdevelopment by Andrew Frank, Andrew, Andrew Frank is basically to denote that, that underdevelopment is not a natural condition but an artifact created by the long history of colonial domination in third world countries. So, Andrew Frank, Andre Gondor Frank starts with the critique of a modernization school, um, and according to him, most of the theoretical categories and development policies in the modernization school have been distilled exclusively from the historical experience of the European and North American advanced capitalist nations. To this extent, these Western theoretical categories are unable to guide or understanding the problem facing the third world nations. First, the modernization school is deficient because it offers an internal explanation of the third world development. The modern school assumes that there is something wrong inside the third world countries such as traditional culture, overpopulation, little investment, lack of achievement, motivation, etc. This is why the third world countries are backward and stagnant in addition by ignoring the history of third world countries. 
The modernization school assumes that the third world countries are now at the early stage of development. So, lastly, I would like to conclude by saying that dependency is discussed and criticized by different researchers, thinkers, philosophers, sociologists, etc. Dependency has different view of angle discussion. There are different angles of discussion uh, in terms of depend when it comes to dependency theory. A group of thinkers predicts it's a process of development and a collaborative approach to change a scarcity of poor countries. Another group of thinkers argue that dependency is one kind of threat of independence of country or its population. The developed nation bonds relation with different interests and oppressed independent nationality. Both sides has proven argument. If we summarize the discussions, we may say that different circumstances, different nations come closer and takes different measures to change the situation. This is what not a matter, but it's uh, the it's the way forward to the development. I would like to uh, end my presentation here. Thank you, sir.